What up, Grannies and Grand Dads? It's your boy, The Black Abstract. You're locked in once again. I appreciate you. So apparently, your girl Saweetie is back in the news. Uh, she did an interview, and this is from Billboard.com. She did an interview saying that uh, she recalls having PTSD from a Hot 97 interview and taking back her power. Uh, she stars on the April cover of Cosmopolitan. So this all makes sense. This all makes sense from the, the comments she made to the... Yeah, this all make Well played. Well played. Uh, so we stars on the April cover of Cosmopolitan and in the company interview, she discussed another chat she did earlier on in her career that gave her PTSD. If you don't know what PTSD, that means post-traumatic stress disorder. It's normally common in people that were in war, active duty. They come back uh, to get reacclimated to regular life and they got... They got fucking shit going on from the shit that happened over there. Uh, I got a brother that was in the service that deals with it. It's a very serious thing. Uh, the Icy Girl rapper reflected on her come up in late 2017 when uh, when she rapped over uh, Old School Beat, made famous by female rappers to been understand blah, blah, blah. But when Hot 97's Ebro Darden questioned it during a February 2018 interview, he described her freestyle as basic and noticed she needed to work harder to impress him. That's when she felt stunned. Let's take a look at the freestyle. Uh, Bay lace me with a watch. The diamonds they be dancing. I could better see the clock tick tock. Whoa, tick tock. Whoa, tick tock. I just thought the rap was basic. I just thought the rap was basic. That means I don't got times for girls that don't like me. Garbage. I be minding my own biz, but they check up on me like a parent does they kid. And I think you need to honestly. I think you need to honestly get a little sharp on your diction, your clarity, and your content. If you're going to impress me, garbage. Well, let me share a little something. My skin is real light, but I like my liquor dark. Let me get something with Henny if I'm chilling at the bar. A lot of fishes in the water, but I'm feeling like a shark. Like my weather from the west and my nigga from the east. I'm looking like a beauty, but I'm moving like a beast. Sweet eats the beat. Got me on repeat. If you didn't know, I'm the eighth wonder to see. If you asking about who's hot, you better ask about me. I don't know what's fine with women with a college degree. How to gossip when you too busy, y'all being the queen. Gossiping don't get money, so they ain't in my routine. I agree with Ebo's assessment. So they ain't in my routine, nigga. Garbage. Yo. But they check up on me like a baby. <laughs> oh my god! Whoever edited this, whoever edited this, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I record. I record. <laughs> but they check up on me like a baby does a kid. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. It says, <laughs> uh, she said it was a really dark point in my life. <laughs> I went from being so loved so quickly because of Icy Girl to on my first promo one. Well, you saw the interview. The script flirt really quick, like night and day. I was I was like, wait, she told Cosmo. I had PTSD from that. Uh Darden's earlier question of whether she's a rapper, rapper, or just a pretty girl who raps a little bit has been echoed with other pretty privileged criticisms of Sweetie throughout social media. Her upcoming debut album, Pretty By Music, which is set to be released this spring, is her way of taking back all those years where I feel I had to dim my light. I won't act like there's there isn't certain certain type of power that comes with people admiring your face, but that's not something that gets me off, she added. I like being female athlete of the year. I like getting 4.0s for a straight year. I like knowing that I write all my songs. I like knowing that I create my own treatments. I like knowing that I donated 150000 to Black Lives Matter. You're a fool for that. Um, her major label debut under Warner Brothers will include singles, Tap In, which was the first song to spend two weeks at number one on Billboard's top thriller, uh, thriller U.S. chart, Back to the Streets, Future Janae Aiko, and uh, her new song, Best Friend, which featured Doja Cat with two number songs. 
Yada, 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 yada. So, um, apparently she had PTSD from this. But listen, as horrible as that freestyle was, uh, you know, shit, that's what Ebro does. Uh, he, he, you know, he's honest. He gives his honest opinion about him. He's, you know, and I think that's what, why Ebro is Ebro. Uh, and rightfully so, that shit was trash. Like, come on. That shit was trash. Uh, <laughs> Rosenberg, I have the same assessment. <laughs> you ain't shit, Rosenberg. <laughs> and uh, I believe that's Laura Styles. If I, if it isn't, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, she was laughing in the middle of his show. The the editing of that was hilarious, man. Whoever, edited... <laughs> I love it. I love it. But on a serious note. You can't say you got PTSD. If you know you can't fucking freestyle or rap on the spot, don't do it. Like, obviously, you're one of them rappers that sound better on beats. That's your pocket. Stay in your pocket. It's a lot of rappers like that. They make these great songs, but when it comes time to freestyle, it's not it. Look at Lil Uzi when he went up there. He makes great songs. He can't freestyle. That's not his pocket. <clears throat> Especially you got him rapping the older beats. That's not his pocket. You know what I mean? Rappers, know your pocket. If you cannot freestyle, don't go up there trying to freestyle. Sweetie, sorry. You're not a rapper's rapper. You're a pretty girl that raps. You make great songs. You're a great song maker. Credit, that's a credit in itself. If you're writing your own lyrics too, that's a plus. But uh, know your pocket. But don't say you got PTSD from it. Come on, because that's disrespectful to all the veterans, everybody that's been in service, and that's actually anybody that dealt with an issue on the street where it was a violence and they survived it. That's PTSD. This isn't PTSD. This is anxiety. You may you might have uh anxiety now because you got criticized. And you're an entertainer. You gotta have thick skin. When I post this, when I post these I gotta I, when I started this channel, I told all my friends to start a channel. You know how many started one? None. Because they were afraid of the criticisms that might come. I don't care what you say about me in the comments. I'm an entertainer. I'm a rapper. I know I got to have thick skin. I don't give a fuck what you say about me. Comes with the territory. Same thing with that. You got to have thick skin. If anything, that should have motivated you to get better with your pen and know how to come through and do that freestyle on the spot. How you should attack it. You know what I mean? Just work on your craft. But now, oh, it's an empowerment and it, it caused darkness and shut the fuck up with all this fucking victim shit, man. You ain't no victim, sweetie. This whole Quavo situation, you turned it and made it seem like you're the victim. But then they tried to flip it and make it seem like Quavo was trying to be a victim. That's why Quavo should have just kept quiet. Stop it. Stop. You're not a victim. Let me know what you guys think. Post your comments below. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Whether you agree with my assessment, <laughs> assessment, Rosenberg, uh, or not, it's cool. We can agree to disagree. We are all adults. Post it in the comments below. Don't be disrespectful. And I don't care what you say, but YouTube will remove your comment. If you have any derogatory or foul language, they will remove it. It's not me. I don't give a fuck what you say. Post in the comments. Let's talk about it. Do you think she's a great rapper? Do you think she's had PTSD? Do you think she's a full of, a full of shit? Do you think she should get better on her craft? Let's, let me know. I want to know. Peace, love, and prosperity. One.